opponent's tummy had another wrap. Uh, October the 5th or 6th, I don't know, time's starting to be a bit irrelevant to me now, but actually we're into October. And um, not far away from my big day. Anyway, uh, just want to say that uh, spend a bit of time kind of refocusing um, our little group on uh, some of the f basics the, uh, of the Reformation, which most people don't really know about, including people who are critical of what happened. And, and so there is quite a lot of misinformation floating around and people uh, doing their, uh, incorporating their worldview into actually what the Reformers were doing and saying. And they didn't, uh, the Reformers were not without uh, their imperfections, and I think that's something that I guess at this stage I need to make pretty clear. Uh, it's quite obvious from reading anything about Martin Luther and what he was saying was that he's clearly a man, and and possibly a man with feet made of clay. But in the end, that actually didn't bother him, which was a good thing, because what he'd done is he'd re-established the doctrine of justification by faith plus nothing. I mean, it was Paulian, it was uh, Augustinian, it was Huss, it was um, Luther and Calvin. And I mean, so basically, uh, it hadn't been totally lost or extinguished, but <clears throat> the whole idea of justification by faith, sola gratia, sola Christus, sola fide, sola scriptia, had... Uh, needed to come back into focus because uh, I think kind of like looking at the history of, of uh, theology is one of uh, the centrality of uh, scripture against a rebellion of bureaucratic man. So, I mean, the uh, thing that happens is that Rome gets established around a, bu a bureaucracy. Well, I mean, that's what um, Babel was all about, the Tower of Babel. That's what um, a bureaucracy and wasn't long before the babble was making you know a lot of noise the volume was really up and I think uh, quite uh, importantly that uh, reading the work of Enoch and uh, some of the earlier uh, church fathers who understood the view of uh, a multi-dimensional universe um, you know, has, has been very helpful. Just going back over some of his stuff, because I have to admit that as a younger person, I kind of got stuck with the reformers, and then I found that there was something missing, so I became sort of attracted to um, Judaism, but then um, Judaism moved me on to uh, Messianic Judaism, and so, <clears throat> you know, just reading different uh, perspectives, going back to uh, original text and just reading more widely and discovering, for example, uh, a lot of people didn't really realize that there was actually um, a Hebrew Matthew. And so, I mean, that had quite profound implications. Yeah, so I guess <clears throat> that's uh, one of the issues that I've been sort of analyzing and looking at again. Uh, yeah, so it's really interesting how you can get sort of stuck in a rut and just, you know, uh, continuing to to look for clarity and above all, you know, this thing of seeking truth. So, I mean, my uh, long time ago, I met a chap called Oz Guinness and he had talked about it more recently the whole thing about truth being above everything. And I think that's actually really important. That has actually got to be the most important issue, is that let truth reign. Um, yeah, so the thing about the Reformation is that a lot of people got hung up on the whole idea of predestination. You know, oh, this is terrible. You know, we don't have any free will. But if you look at it logically, the whole thing that happened was that actually the sovereignty of God, God was put back on the throne in the Reformation and... Of course, if, if God creates and sustains and upholds the universe by his word, 
then there can be no free will as we understand it in, philosoph in a philosophical sense. And in fact, philosophers, um, I think some time ago, just gave up on the whole idea. Well, anyway, to start off with, they got down to a point where they couldn't kind of agree on what people mean when they were talking about freedom. <clears throat> well, sort of, um, there was a, a there was disagreement, but there was kind of an, a, a, a consensus that emerged. And, and really, I think, you know, people like Sartre uh, kind of, articulated the, the, the problem for modern man when and the late Francis Schaeffer picked up on this when he quoted Sartre saying that uh, man is so shaped by his past choices and decisions that in the end he checkmates himself into an inescapable cubicle of thought and action and so this man stuck in a box and the only way he can get out of his box uh, for a uh, modern philosophical, uh, bureaucratized, theological, neo uh, liberal man, neo orthodox man, is by an irrational leap of faith. Well, that's not what Luther was talking about. That's not what Paul talked about. And that was certainly not what Jesus talked about. So, you know, it's, it's sort of interesting. And in any case, if you're going to attribute sovereignty to God, why on earth would you want a God who wasn't in control? Why would you want that? I mean, you know, we finites, um, uptight with the whole idea of freedom, who gave us that idea? I think that's a sort of um, Luciferian uh, influence that's been around from since the beginning, from the beginning of, of uh, the uh, fall of man, uh, again, um, modern theologians don't like to talk about it as being um, literal. I certainly don't think that the uh, whole of the uh, uh, meaning of life uh, stands up to criticism and meaning unless you accept the original fall. So, I mean, the thing is, as Luther pointed out, you know, we're sort of born dead. So, uh, you know, he had a tremendous... Uh, re-opening, a re-examination, an enlightening of, of what was being lost when he saw that it, uh, God was <clears throat> and had to be, by definition, if there was going to be God, with a capital G, uh, God embodying all the attributes that, the, uh, that orthodoxy had articulated, so there you are, there's, uh, and Luther is worth um, more attention. I mean, you get hold of, of the bondage of will and read up on it, and it provides some wonderful insights. And don't listen to too much commentary, but read the original text from Luther. It's translated now into good English. And Luther has been a long time coming because I can remember, remember back in uh, 19... 77, 1978, and, um, or earlier, 76, actually, when I was digging around looking for uh, all the literature I could get my hands on, including uh, Luther's utterances. Only about 12% had been translated from German to English. So, you know, there's, it's comparatively new, even now. So, you know, all this time after the Reformation, uh, and you know, new materials coming to light. So I think uh, the beauty of this time that we live in now with Google is the speed. Isn't it incredible that you can actually do really quick bringing together of uh, information, research, and uh, just makes you better equipped to form judgments, most of our judgments have to be tentative, let's face it, I mean, we, we've got so much wrong. So, I mean, like, there's just a core of things that you, you really need to hang on to. The rest of it's all subject to, uh, you know, more further insights and uh, research and uh, clar clarification. Languages often don't translate very well from one to another. 
And so, you know, wonderful time to be living, guys, particularly uh, when you have the advantages of, as I say, the internet. Well, all regards to, uh, to Al, uh, for having some great uh, conversations, great correspondence, should I say, uh, with you, Al. And uh, just now, I hope, like heck, that you uh, get your internet problem sorted out. Uh, it just sounds terrible, but I have to say we struggle with the same things here. So, uh, yeah, Dave, always nice to have your contributions. And, uh, you know, just uh, amazing little group we've got where we hammer away at things. And, of course, Nick coming to tea tonight. So we may have um, something to say. Um, no doubt both of us will be talking about... Um, you know, our different perspectives in the future and long may it continue. Right, over and out.